With just one USB stick, you can carry Google TV in your pocket and turn any computer into a full smart TV. No need for expensive TV boxes or complicated hardware. And here's the best part, most tutorials only give you 4 GB of app storage, which isn't much, but in this guide, I'll show you how to unlock your USB's full capacity, whether it's 16 GB, 32 GB, or even 64 GB, so you'll have plenty of space for apps, games, and updates. By the end your USB will boot directly into Google TV with Play Store, YouTube, Hotstar, and all your favorite Android TV apps. Step 1. Download the Google TV ISO file from the Google Drive link in the description. After downloading, extract the file using WinRare or 7-Zip. You'll get two items, the Google TV.ISO file and a folder named Storages with pre-built storage files, 4GB, 8GB, 16GB, 32GB, and 64GB. Step 2. To make the USB bootable, use a free tool called Rufus, download it from its official website. Plug in your USB drive, at least 16 GB, preferably USB 3.0. Rufus will automatically detect it. Select the Google TV.ISO file you extracted. Set the persistent partition size slider to maximum. If your computer supports UEFI, choose GPT partition, otherwise use MBR. Keep file system as FAT32 and click start. This will erase your USB and write Google TV to it. Wait about 5 to 10 minutes. When done, your USB will now boot Google TV, but initially, it'll only have 3.4 GB of usable space. Step 3. To fix the limited space, open Disk Management on Windows, delete the persistence partition Rufus created, then create a new simple volume formatted as XFAT. This allows large storage files like 16 GB or 32 GB. Now open your boot partition, cut the file system, .fs, and paste it into the new XFAT partition. Next, go to the storages folder you extracted earlier. Pick a storage file size that matches half your USB size. For example, if your USB is 64 GB, pick the 32 GB file. Extract it, copy the file named data.mg, and paste it into the same XFAT partition. That's it. Your USB now has a large storage partition ready for apps and updates. Step 4. Before booting Google TV, Disable Secure Boot from your BIOS UFI settings. This ensures your computer can load Google TV properly. Step 5. Restart your computer. Open the boot menu and select your USB drive. Google TV will now start loading. The first boot may take a few minutes while it sets up. Once it loads, select your language, connect to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and sign in with your Google account. Now you have full access to Play Store, YouTube, and other Android TV apps right on your computer. If this tutorial helped, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more easy tech guides.